this point, your game is fully playable, but there's still room for improvement. Obviously, the game isn't very pretty yet, and we'll be working on that soon. But in the meantime, there's a few areas where you can add some polish. Currently, the alert view in the app still says, Hello World. Wouldn't it be cool if instead of saying, Hello World, we gave the user some feedback based on how well they did? For example, if they get the exact right score, we can say, Perfect. If they get a couple off, we can say, Pretty close. And if they're far off, well, we can say, Hey, you better try again. This will give the user a little feedback and encouragement on how they did. Now that you've learned about variables, strings, and if statements, this should be a breeze. Let's try it out. Currently in Show Alert, when we display the alert controller, the title is set to Hello World. I'd like to change this to say something different based on how well the user did with their score. So let's create a new variable here called title, which is set to a string. Now, if you're eagle-eyed, you might notice that I've used let here instead of var, and I'll explain why that is in a moment. But right now, let's just figure out what we want the title to be. Well, if the difference is zero, in this case, the user has gotten it exactly to the target value, and that's great. So we're going to say the title is perfect in this case. What if the difference is less than five? So we'll say the title is you almost had it. And what if it's less than 10? That's still pretty good, right? So we'll say the title equals pretty good. If they don't even get within 10 though, then they've screwed up pretty bad. So we'll say the title equals not even close. Okay, now that we have the title, instead of saying hello world here, we can just delete that and enter in title. Okay, and if I hit command B just to test if this builds, it builds fine. So let's go back to why I used let here and not var. So the rule of a constant in Swift is you can only set it once and then you can never change it again. That's rule number one. And rule number two is you definitely have to set it to something. Now, in this case, I didn't set it to something right away because I want to be able to set it here in the if else statements. And the Swift compiler is smart enough to know that after these if else statements, it's definitely going to be set so it won't complain that you haven't initialized it to a value. But watch what would happen if I didn't have the else case here. I'm going to add a comment with star slash and slash star. Now if I try to build, I get an error here saying constant title used before being initialized because you have to set a constant. You have to initialize it to something. So it's okay if in an if-else statement or some other condition, you definitely initialize it. But if there's some situation that could happen that it wouldn't be initialized, then Swift compiler will complain. But again, when possible, you want to use constants instead of variables is just a best practice. So that's why we used the constant because we change it, we initialize it once, and then it's never going to be changed again. There's one other thing I want to point out. When we declared this constant, we manually set the type of this variable to be a string. We didn't use type inference. In other words, we didn't just do something like that. If I did that, I would have gotten this error, type annotation missing in pattern. The reason is, is because the compiler doesn't have enough information to use type inference because we don't initialize the titer until later on. Now, if we did let title equals this, of course, that wouldn't work because we're changing it, so I just change that to var, then that would work because the compiler at this point has enough information on this one line to know, okay, I'm setting it to a string, so this must be a string. But if you declare the variable and don't set it until later on, it doesn't have enough information yet. So that's why we had to manually specify the type here. All right, that's it. Let's build and run. Maybe as close as I can to 47. And hey, I've got a perfect score. Let me try one where I mess up on purpose. Not even close.